안녕하세요, 안녕하세요 여러분. 여러분. I'm Michael Elliot and this is Daniel Kim. And we're here to talk about uh, easy Korean verbs. Mm -hmm. So when I made the site koreanchamp.com, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to focus on hard Korean, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the visitors to the site are still in the elementary levels. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to take a look at some easy phrases. Mm -hmm. And these verbs are just about the, the easiest, but also the most necessary mm -hmm. in day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. 그렇죠? Yeah, you agree with me on that, right? Yes. So, uh, I chose to conjugate these verbs mm -hmm. in the oyo, uh, ayo form. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I chose this form is because it's very practical. In some ways, mm -hmm. uh, it can be the command form, the imperative form. Mm -hmm. So, like, 공부해요, like mm -hmm. you study harder, yeah. right? Yeah. So, 더 열심히 공부해요, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 맞습니다. So, that's like, you study harder, you need to study harder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it can also be uh, the present form of the mm -hmm. verb. I'm studying, right? Mm -hmm. So if you said, yeah, yeah, right. So if you said, how would you say then I'm studying Korean? Mm -hmm. 한국어를 공부해요. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could say it in a lot of other ways. Mm -hmm. But uh, today we're just taking a look at this form. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, 저는 아니면 나는 mm -hmm. 저는 한국어를 공부해요. 공부해요. So I'm studying Korean right now. Mm -hmm. But it could also be, it could be right now, this mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. or it could be these days, right? Yeah, it has both meanings. So mm -hmm. in English, there's a clearer differentiation mm -hmm. between present perfect and present continuous, mm -hmm. like the original present tense. Mm -hmm. But in Korean, they're both kind of used, uh, you can mix and match. Mm -hmm. Right. But um, so let's practice that mm -hmm. one, more, one more time. Mm -hmm. I'm studying Korean is... 나는 한국어를 공부해요. Right, so 공부해요, I'm studying. So 공부 is study, mm -hmm. and 해요, if you add that conjugated mm -hmm. with the 해요 form, mm -hmm. it becomes I am studying, I am studying right now. Mm -hmm. So let's say, what if we changed it to English? I'm studying English right now, then mm -hmm. what would we say? 나는 영어를 공부해요. Right, and mm -hmm. so 나는 and 저는 are two ways of saying I, mm -hmm. and 저는 is more formal. Mm -hmm. It's it's a humilific, mm -hmm. a humilifier. You're putting yourself down, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So um, 저는 영어를 공부해요. Yeah. All right, and it also works in the imperative form. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to say um, study harder, mm -hmm. then you could add 더 열심히, mm -hmm. right? 나는 한국어를 또는 영어를 열심히 공부해요. Right, and if I wanted to say you, mm -hmm. study English harder, mm -hmm. I could say the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. 공부 열심히 해요. Right. 더 열심히, 더 공부 열심히 해요. 공부해요. Yeah. You uh, need to study harder, or you mm -hmm. study harder, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first verb we looked at is mm -hmm. 공부해요, and this is the the noun form, mm -hmm. 공부, which is study, mm -hmm. and 해요, you add that to the end of it, mm -hmm. and it makes the present form. So 해요 is kind of like in English, mm -hmm. maybe hey, like hey. Yo, right? We have Yo. both these words in English, so yeah. it's pretty easy. The pronunciation shouldn't be that hard. And gong, like G-O-N-G, bu, like uh, the ghost says bu, <laughs> and hey yo, gong bu, hey yo, right? I think we di dissected it easily enough. All right, so um, the next verb is to meet. So what is it in Korean? 만나요. 만나요, right? Mm -hmm. So it could be like, we're meeting right now. Mm -hmm. 친구 만나요, we're meeting right now. Yeah. Or it could also be like, um, 뭐, 그 친구 만나야 돼. You could say to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or you can talk about it uh, to use, to describe things about the future. Mm -hmm. Like, right. 내일 만나요. Like, let's right. meet tomorrow. Right, that's an important point mm -hmm. that in Korean, Oh, just like in English, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, we use the present tense to mm -hmm. talk about the future. So in English, mm -hmm. what do we say? We say, I'm meeting a friend tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's actually the present tense, mm -hmm. right? But right. we're talking about the future. Mm -hmm. In Korean, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if you learn this form, mm -hmm. this can be used about the future as well. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing tomorrow? 나는 한국어 공부해요. I'm studying Korean tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 그것도 가능해요. Okay. So 내일 한국어 공부해요. Tomorrow is 내일. That's right. So 아주 광범위하게. This is almost universally mm -hmm. used for a lot of things. So mm -hmm. future, mm -hmm. present tense, and also command form, imperative. Okay. All right. So this next one is to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. Why don't you make an example sentence with that? 친구를 만나요. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm meeting a friend, mm -hmm. or it can also be like 나 좋은 친구 한명 있는데 mm -hmm. 친구 만나요. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
right. meet my friend, mm -hmm. right? right? So it could it has those two meanings. One is mm -hmm. I'm meeting a friend, mm -hmm. or it could also be you meet my friend, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay. So that's mannayo. Okay, let's look at the uh, next one, which is to call. Chonhwa mm heyo. -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So chonhwa heyo. So chon chon ima heart day when you speak slowly. Chon chon hwa heyo. Chon hwa heyo. Right. So yogi chon hwa heyo. So this is a call, mm -hmm. and we've attached the mm -hmm. present form to right. the end. So chonhwa heyo. Mm -hmm. Also, though, like he mentioned, we can use this to talk about the future. Mm -hmm. So if I said, let's meet tomorrow, and then he says, yeah, give me a call. Give me a call tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Send me a text tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. We'll discuss this. Mm -hmm. So this is a very uh, useful form mm -hmm. uh, once you master it. Yes. Okay, so and when you speak quickly, mm -hmm. does this H kind of sometimes turn mm -hmm. into, right. it kind of disappears like, yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. right? 전화해요, 전화해요. It gets softened, mm -hmm. and if you've learned Korean, you probably know this mm -hmm. "ian" letter, which is mm -hmm. like silent sound. It almost mm -hmm. becomes like that. So yeah. when you're speaking slowly, "chon chon hua heo," but quickly, "chon right? Mm -hmm. Right. So some girls, when they test, they they get lazy, so they just write "cho na he." Uh, they write like this. It's shortened sometimes mm -hmm. like this in texting. "Chon mm -hmm. he." It's like in English how sometimes we say, uh, what do we say? Oh, we say like, C, U, mm -hmm. 2, I don't know how people write, mar I'm too old, so I don't know about this stuff, but the kids today, mm -hmm. see you tomorrow, mm -hmm. 이런 식으로 하잖아요. So in Korean, mm -hmm. some people, um, so you were saying women mm -hmm. usually do this? Yes. If a guy does that, is he oh, looking stupid? Oh, guy does that too, yes. Sometimes? Yeah, it's mo more, uh, plus, uh, more, more, Commonly used by, by females. Women. I better be careful. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know. <laughs> I have uh, no feeling about that. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So that was. Oh wait, we need to do an example sentence for 전화하다. So 동생한테 전화해요. Right. So 동생 is a younger sister or brother. Mm -hmm. So 전화해요. That could be I'm calling my younger sister or brother, mm -hmm. or it could be you mm -hmm. call your younger sister mm -hmm. or brother. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. This is the verb for to take, as in a means of transportation. Mm -hmm. So take the bus, mm -hmm. I'm taking the bus, mm -hmm. I'm taking the subway. Exactly. That take in Korean is what? Tayo. Tayo, right? Mm -hmm. So we're making the same form, which mm -hmm. is the present or the imperative form, mm -hmm. Tayo. Mm -hmm. So you could tell your friend, if he says, how do I get there? Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. Take the bus, right? Mm -hmm. So in the imperative form, mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. it could be, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. right? I'm just about to get on the bus. Mm -hmm. I'm getting on the bus, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So, bus mm -hmm. Also, in the present tense, mm -hmm. how do you get to work? Mm -hmm. I take mm -hmm. the subway, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the next one. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the verb for look, sometimes it's watch, mm -hmm. sometimes it's see. see. In English, we differentiate mm -hmm. between the three, but in Korean, pulda is pretty much all you need, mm -hmm. right? Right. So why don't you give us a sentence with pulda mm -hmm. to look? 봐요. What? Uh, 영화를 봐요. Right, 영화를 봐요. So, 영화를 봐요. I'm watching a movie, mm -hmm. or you watch a movie. Mm -hmm. 영화 봐. <laughs> 떠들지 말고. Don't just talk. <laughs> Don't just uh, chit chat over there. Watch the movie, right? Let's imagine you're watching a movie in class, mm -hmm. and it's some stupid science movie mm -hmm. that your teacher forces forces you to watch, mm -hmm. and the kids are, you know, texting and playing around. Then the teacher could say, 영화 봐. 영화를 봐요. Watch the mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. Look at the movie. Stop mm -hmm. messing around. So it works in the command form, mm -hmm. and also the present form, mm -hmm. and also the future. So let's say, 내일 mm 뭐해요? -hmm. 그러면 여자친구랑 영화 봐요. I'm going to see a movie with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, so it's eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, and I just made this unconsciously. This is the Korean gesture for eating. Mm -hmm. I don't think we use this in America, <laughs> but in Korea, this right. means eat. Yeah, so right. when I first saw that, I was like, what? What, shoveling? What is this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> fishing? <laughs> fishing <laughs> looks like fishing. Mm -hmm. But that's the Korean uh, gesture for to eat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 먹어요, and then why don't you make a sentence with that? Like, let's eat something. Mm -hmm. uh, 뭔가 먹어요. Right, mm -hmm. so that can be, uh, let's get something to eat, right? 뭔가 먹어요. 이거 끝나면 mm -hmm. 뭔가 먹으러 okay. 가요. 뭔가 먹어요. Let's eat something when we're done with this, okay? 밥 먹어요. Let's eat meal. Right. Okay, so next, uh, this is the verb for to buy something. 사요. 
Right, it's pretty easy. So, 사요, 사요. I'm buying something. So, 지금 뭐 하고 있어? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. 커피를 사요. I'm buying some coffee, right? Mm -hmm. And what else? What else can you use it? Let's say a book. Mm -hmm. I'm buying a book. 책을 사요. Also, let's say I wrote a book and I want you to buy it. Mm -hmm. Then I would say, what would I say? <laughs> 내 책 사요. Mm. Buy my book. 사요, 내 책 사요. I'll buy it, don't worry. Mm -hmm. His book comes out next month. Okay, and one more thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, 사요. Don't be confused with 사요, which means chip. Mm, that right. sounds similar. Yeah. Right, so this is the single S sound and the yeah. double. So this is 사요, mm -hmm. like it's cheap. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this one is 사요. 사요. Here. Sayo, sayo. And I don't okay, think. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> On the video, you probably didn't pick it up, uh -huh. but if you exaggerate it, uh -huh. like sayo uh -huh. and sayo, <laughs> give it, give the S a lot of emphasis before you move uh -huh. on, and that means cheap. So this uh -huh. one is cheap. Uh -huh. Like, how much is it? Is it expensive? Uh -huh. No, sayo. Uh -huh. It's cheap. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next one, which is to talk. Uh -huh. What is that in Korean? Malheo. Right, mal heo. So mm -hmm. let's say, what if I want to say to you, mm -hmm. speak Korean to me? How could I say that? 한국어로 말해요. Right, speak mm -hmm. Korean to me. Mm -hmm. So in the imperative form, mm -hmm. 한국어로 말해요. Mm -hmm. Or what if I wanted to say speak English? Then what would I say? 영어로 말해요. Right, 영어로 말해요. 한국어로 말해요. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a little bit. If you don't know the person, mm -hmm. you probably have to say 말해 주세요, mm -hmm. which is right. more polite. Mm -hmm. But we'll teach that later on mm -hmm. the 주세요 form. Mm -hmm. But for now, uh, amongst friends, mm -hmm. it's fine to say 한국어로 말해요. Mm -hmm. Speak to me in Korean mm -hmm. or 영어로 말해요. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Next is the verb for to write. Mm -hmm. 써요. Right. It's the same double S sound that we learned here. Mm -hmm. 써요. But this is. Soil. Mm -hmm. So this is to write. Mm -hmm. So what if you wanted to say I'm writing a mm -hmm. paper right now? Then what? How would mm -hmm. you say that? 나는 논문을 쓰고 있어요. Right, mm -hmm. 논문, like mm -hmm. a doctor, like scholarly paper, mm -hmm. or 글 써요, mm -hmm. right? Or what else? 편지. I'm mm -hmm. writing a letter. Mm -hmm. 편지를 써요. Mm -hmm. 나는 편지를 써요. Last time I did that was 15 years ago, mm -hmm. 1989. 군대 있는 친구에게 편지를 써요. Writing a letter to my friend who's in the army. Mm -hmm. That's a reality still mm -hmm. in Korea. Yeah. Not so much in America, but in Korea. Still have to send those letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then 마지막으로, the last verb of the day is to sit. Mm -hmm. 앉아요. 앉아요, right? Mm -hmm. So 앉아 있어. Or mm -hmm. If you wanted to say, I'm about to sit down, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. 앉고 있어, right? Mm -hmm. right? Or 앉아요. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. Yeah. But if you wanted to tell somebody, mm -hmm. you could say, you sit mm -hmm. here. How would you say that? Because we are both standing up right now, right. so after Obviously. this, I, I'm That's probably right. tell I'm gonna probably tell him, oh, 저기 앉아요. Right, let's sit down, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 앉아요, 거기 앉아요. Sometimes it can be used like let, too, mm -hmm. right? Like, mm -hmm. 앉아요, mm -hmm. 앉아서 얘기해요, mm -hmm. 앉아요. Right. Let's sit down. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you want the phonetic uh, pronunciations of mm -hmm. these, I'll put them up on the site to help everybody out. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't learned Hangul, go ahead, it's very easy. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, irregular spelling, so if you just mm -hmm. devote a couple days to hunger, mm -hmm. you can master it. That's why I don't usually write things in, in uh, romanization. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you stick to it, uh, hunger is, is really rewarding. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's, uh, that was helpful. And then uh, if anybody's in Korea right now, mm -hmm. uh, Danny has a good uh, party, a yes. foreigner party for mm -hmm. meeting Korean people. Mm -hmm. So just Google the Seoul English Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have a party. We have parties in on Saturday in various venues in Seoul. Almost every weekend yeah, he's got a party weekend. going on. Yes. So if you're in Korea, mm -hmm. you're looking for someone to do a language exchange mm -hmm. with, look him up, the mm -hmm. Seoul English Party mm -hmm. on Google. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks everyone for stopping by. We'll come back soon with another edition of Elementary Korean. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye.